A good product designer is that person that is in the room for its users. Hi, I'm Simone Ferraro. I'm a senior product designer on LinkedIn, and I'll be teaching a product design course on Elevator. A good product designer is that person that is in the room for its users. It completely understands, it, complete, it, it, it has internalized the problems, the needs, the desires, the goals of their users, and it's there in the room with its skills to bring these forward, using its creativity and its logical mind, and also uh, a way to solve things in a way that obviously fits into the business, into the product scale, but really, at the end of the day, we are there, and I keep reiterating this because I think it's a concept that really needs to be internalized by our students. We are there for our users. And using our sensitivity, our creativity to stand up for, for, for our users is what makes us the valuable uh, asset for the company. The difference between product design, user experience design, UI design lies in the in the observers of our profession. I think we always, you know, they, they say user experience design is, you know, focuses on uh, on on the flows and the user problems, but doesn't focus on the business side of it. That's absolutely not true. I don't believe that's the case. If if a user experience designer doesn't doesn't think about the business, uh, he's unemployed. Uh, and, and if a user interface designer doesn't think about the experience, he too is probably unemployed. We now have this label that groups these disciplines all together, but designers always have thought about the economical implications of their choices, have always thought about the user, have always thought about the, the, the technology, whether that was print, whether that was a, a TV ad. They always had the capacity to look at the business side of it, the technological side of it, and the audience. So I think it's really only about labels. Uh, labels that other parts of the business tend to apply to what we do. But we've always done it in, in such a way that we always consider all these aspects at the same time. Ultimately, if a business relies on product design to own the solutions that will end up in the user's hands, that will be a successful business. And there's almost, I've never seen, I've never seen this, this logic fail. Um, I've always seen a business that values product design as a, as a, as a partner to engineering and to product management be, su be successful. I've seen instances in which design is just purely seen as a vision and not as a way to innovate. Uh, in which those business hasn't been haven't been much successful. When when I'm sitting in, inter in in interviews for design candidates, I'm looking at how they at their ability to analyze and synthesize and frame the problem. I think that is the most fundamental skill to have to get into the profession. Um, everything else can be not necessarily taught but everything else they can adapt to. They can adapt to our use of design system. They can adapt to how we use different tools. They can adapt to how we use motion or other skills. But the ability to look at the entire picture and synthesize the problem and understand exactly what we're trying to solve. And that is the most fundamental aspect to get to the right solution. Um, and that's, that's the one thing that I always look at when, when sitting in, um, in, in interviews. This course is intended for anyone that has uh, the curiosity to learn what the life of a digital product designer is in a company that requires your skills. Um, it's really intended for anybody that has even the slightest design background, whether that's you know, from education or from personal experiences. Design is a discipline that has evolved throughout centuries, really, and where we are now is, is one of the most interesting opportunities that we have to really influence and impact people's life. So what we're really trying to do in this course is to give you the foundation that you'll be, you know, that, that, that you will need 
to be successful for your job in your job, which means be a good advocate for your users. Again, um, we have an incredible opportunity to have a really positive impact in people's life. And we want to make sure we do it in the right way, considering all the things that are going on in this world. Um, we have a pretty good responsibility, pretty big responsibility in that sense. So I'm really excited to have you over and start a class and to go through this process with you. I think teaching is a learning process and I'm really excited to start this with you.